Hi there, how you doing? It's Adrian McGibbon here again with video number seven in our little series on marketing that gets customers fast. Okay, so and um, we've been through the different aspects of small business marketing. What's what you can do, um, the various possibilities on getting on Google, be it paid or organic search. And um, we've talked a little bit about the other options in terms of getting found online, and also a bit of detail on Facebook advertising. So um, now that you, you, you're maybe a little bit wiser about what is possible, um, I'd like to just take a couple of minutes to, to see um, to tell you what I could do for you. So basically, in, in a nutshell, um, we can get you more inquiries, more leads, and more customers fast. So we can do um, as much or as little of your online and offline marketing as you wish. But we're really what we're all about is getting you profitable business results. So it's not, I'm not interested in, in doing marketing for you or for any business for the sake of, of marketing because there's you know, there's no money in that for you. And if you're not making money out of it, then you're not gonna have me around for long. So I'm only interested in, in working um, f for you if I can get you, um, you know, measurable results. So it has to, everything I do have to, has to add money to your bottom line or there's no point in either of us going down that road. Um, so hitting on, the, on the, the, the main things that I can do for you, the, the big um, benefit I would have for you would be search engine optimization. So my speciality is, is working with small businesses just like yours, um, small to medium sized businesses, mostly in, in the construction industry. So I work a lot with, um, with kitchen companies, kitchen manufacturers. There is um, you know, somewhere between 17 and 1800 kitchen companies in Ireland. So it's a very, very um, competitive market. And uh, I've worked with, with a, a decent number of them. So uh, I work with kitchen companies. I work with electricians, plumbers, with drain cleaning companies, um, with builders, with um, architects, with engineers. Um, some of my customers outside of the building industry would, have, would include um, people work in health and fitness, so personal trainers and gyms. So I do, I do on, on occasion run Facebook ads for those guys, um, and for like, various other insurance companies and solicitors. So it, it, you know, my, my speciality is in the building industry because that's my background. I'm an engineer. I'm, I'm you know I, I've had an electrical contracting business for for a number of years. Um, I'm an engineer by by profession, but um, my my family background and my background has been you know, for a long period of time in, in the construction industry. Um, I can get you on page one very fast, um, much faster than, than many of my competitors because I just, you know, no beating around the bush. I'm just very good at what I do and that, I don't mean that to, to, to blow my own horn, but um, if you, I can show you um, numerous results that I've got um, customers to page one in a matter of days um, and, and sometimes in hours for, for some search terms. So it, it really, you know, I don't want to set an expectation in advance of speaking to you, but um, the, the how difficult or how easy it is depends on the level of competition. So for the, the likes of the kitchen industry, there's a lot of very switched, up, switched on business owners there who are already um, spent money on pay-per-click and on SEO. Um, why you do one over the other, pay-per-click gets you um, on page one right away, get you there for the key search terms right away. Um, and SEO, you know, some companies drag their heels on it, depending on what they're being paid, I suppose, but um, some companies will drag their heels and, and drag it out for, for six months or more before you'd ever see any mar you know, market um, results. Um, I can get you there, you know, generally, you know, at worst case in a, in a couple of weeks, um, but often within days. Um, why would you do SEO over AdWords if AdWords gets you immediate results? Well, S AdWords is like turning on a tap. So if you're prepared to keep throwing money into it, it'll keep feeding you customers, um, assuming that your competitors aren't burning your budget on you every day. So it's a bit of a, it's a, it's a difficult one to, 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 um, to, to advise you on. I do some pay-per-click advertising for, for some clients, usually to bolster what we're doing for SEO. Just to add, so, so we can take, we can occupy more of the page. Um, my own business, I would spend on my. I've, I've had numerous businesses. I run several businesses of my own. 
and I would always spend the money on, on SEO because it's it's there for the long term. So you spend money this month and it's it's you know the results of it are there for a longer period. If you spend money on AdWords, as soon as you stop spending money you disappear off Google. That's the, the plus and the minus of it. Um, so there's you know a conversation will, will probably with you will clarify that thinking for, for you. Um, as I said, it depends on the level of competition, so that, that depends on, on the, the niche in the industry. So if you're a, a wall and floor tiler, say a ceramic tiler or a porcelain tiler, there's probably less competition because there's fewer of those guys clued into marketing and um, you'll, you'll dominate page one very, very quickly. If you're a painter and decorator, mostly the same because there's not as many guys who are thinking about um, about their, their, their website or having a website or, or what, what it can do for them. So you know, it's it's, it's industry dependent. Um, various different business types will have liver, different levels of competition. Generally, the more money that's involved in, in, a, in, a, uh, in a business area, the the more people um, tend to engage um, people like me to help them to to do their marketing for them. Um, another reason why you'd want to engage me would be that I can get you fast ranking. Um, I can get you to page one very, very quickly. And we also have options for rank and rent. So with some businesses um, that have their own website, they want to get a page one very quickly or they want to maybe improve their position on page one and I can help them with that. Um, sometimes they want to have uh, a second site or they may want to have a, a site in another industry to test a market. And in that case, we'll rank um, a site for them and we'll rent it to them on a month-by-month -month basis. So that's another option um, that will be open to you. We can also build you a secondary site and, and rank it. And you might wonder why if you had one if you had one website ranking on page one already, why would you want another? Well it's a bit like being um, setting up business on a on a small street with only ten doors on it. And if you want more business, there's a certain volume of customers coming through that street every day. And if you want to gobble up more of the business you'd basically put more shop fronts on that street. So you know if if I was to put a second site on it and we were able to occupy two or three of the of those ten positions on, on page one of Google, you, you're gonna get more of the business. It's just you know simple maths. So there, there is only ten spaces there on the organic search, and the more of those spaces you occupy, the more um, business you will attract or you will um, basically take. We do on page SEO, so, so there's a lot of very poorly built websites out there, not just in terms of, of what they look like aesthetically, but in terms of, of their how they work for Google. Um, so if you're not getting on page one, if you're on page two or page three, or you're at the very bottom of page one, sometimes a simple cleanup of your existing site and tidying up title tags and, and um, metadata and descriptions can help um, to improve your position. So sometimes it's, it's a, quite a simple, um, you know, a, a simple exercise to get you to improve your, your rankings. Sometimes it takes more than that. Again, it just depends on the level of competition and what the other guys are doing. Off-page SEO, um, we only engage in off-page after we know that on-page is, is perfect. The difference between on-page and off-page, on-page is everything that affects your site itself. So page loading speed, um, image sizes and, and optimizing the images, optimizing the content for keyword search, um, and, and like I said, page loading speed. So a poor loading speed will have a massive effect on your ranking as well because um, basically um, a thing called bounce rates. If people are going to your website, your website doesn't load up quickly enough and they're clicking back before your site loads, then that that, that is a black mark against you in Google's eyes. And Google measures the, the loading speed um, of all websites. They know how fast they load. And um, slower sites don't get served up because it's seen as a bad experience for their searchers, their, their visitors. They always, Google always want to make the whole experience um, as best as possible for their their customers who are people who are searching. Um, so off-page SEO is something that we'd look at doing for you um, only after the on-page was perfect. And off-page includes things like link, link building. So it's getting links from authority sites, which basically helps um, improve the, the authority of your website, so it makes it look more important that people are linking to it. And also, it also attracts some, some traffic, some visitors from those other sites. Um, another thing we do for off-page SEO is social signals and traffic. So um, you, you probably know social profiles will be your Facebook, um, your Twitter account, 
um, G Plus account, and there's numerous others. There's there's like a hundred different social media um, account or types that you can you can have, and there are some that are that carry more weight than others with um, in in Facebook size. So the, the important ones being Twitter, Facebook, G Plus, and um, Blogger. They're probably the, the, the key ones. Maybe um, Pinterest as well. So we we can help you by setting up those um, social profiles, getting some traffic um, to be um, syndicating your content from basically passing the content of your website around around your um, social social web social sites and and helping to generate some traffic in that way as well. So it looks like your your, your content's being shared. And Google likes that. So if, if in Google's eyes, if your content is being shared by others, then it's got a value to it over something that doesn't doesn't get any shares. Um, what can I do for you? So um, SEO. Th this is the next part in, in terms of um, getting you found in, in on Google. So we've looked at at on page and off page optimization. The next piece would be um, maps listing. So Google Maps is a Google property. If you've been on your mobile phone and you've searched for uh, a filling station nearby or um, a paint shop nearby, whatever, chances are you, you, you've noticed a Google Maps um, in your feed before. So Google will serve up to three companies or three businesses in the, in the map pack. And um, we can help you to get, we'll set you up on maps and also to get you what's called citations to basically um, mentions around the web to get you into the three pack. So there's only ever three results served in the Google Maps, and um, that you know there's a, a lot of of search inadvertently goes to um, the map pack just by the pure fact that it's pretty you know when it does get served it doesn't be served all the time it doesn't appear in the search all the time but when it does it's quite high at the top of the page. GMB Google My Business, so we can help you to, to build your profile and to optimize it for search. So a lot of businesses have a GMB page, and um, because uh, you know people just set it up thinking that all they have to do is fill out their name and their and their their contact details and that's it. But it's, there's a lot more to it than that. Um, you, you really want to have that profile completely filled out and, and filled out to match the citations that you have elsewhere in the web. That your profile matches you know, across the board. That there's no inconsistencies in it. Otherwise, it's seen as numerous different businesses. It's not. It, it doesn't. Um, it doesn't create the effect of of being you seen everywhere. So if you've numerous different profiles set up differently, um, that your your details don't match everywhere, then you're basically wasting your time. So we can help you to to build a profile and optimize it for search. So another thing that, that's important in, in GMB is images and how images are set up as well. So um, that's all part of what we look help you with in, in terms of GMB. And, and GMB has an influence on your on your map listing and also in the um, infograph, the Google infograph, which is another way that Google would occasionally serve some of the information to searchers. So that's kind of important to have that. It's, it's low hanging fruit. Um, Video. So we do um, video and YouTube SEO for a couple of reasons. So there is a lot of people, you know, a, a lot of searching goes on on YouTube. It's, YouTube is the second largest search engine. Um, YouTube has a big influence on your ranking in uh, in Google. So if we have, you know, optimized, so it's not just a matter of throwing up a couple of videos on YouTube. You have to um, structure them in a certain way and how you knit them all together has a big influence on how those videos rank on Google and rank for particular search terms. And their ranking and linked back to your to your website or even embedded on your website has um, has an influence on how your, your website ranks. So in very competitive niches, so like, like stuff the kitchen industry or, or drain cleaning would be just two random examples, um, that you know, how your how your 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 YouTube videos are set up and optimized will affect how your website ranks. So it's another um, another opportunity to push you back up, you know, push you up higher on page one. Um, embedded video is is you know is a a good way of tying the two together. As are one thing I should have mentioned was that your, you know maps listings, um, placing a map, a Google map in your website just to to, to again to give it another another anchor to Google. So 
you know, we want to tie as many many Google properties to your website as possible because it tells Google more about you and makes you look like more of an authority in their eyes. So that's you know what we do in terms of SEO. Conversion optimization. So um, getting your your website found on on page one of Google is is the is the first thing. But when your visitors come there, what are they doing? So we can look at we can install a piece of code on your website that, that allows us to see what visitors are doing when they come to your website, where they're going, where they're searching, what they're reading, what they're watching on your website, um, how they're interacting with it. And um, you know, most businesses rely on a contact form or a contact page to get um, to get visitors to contact them. Um, there are more ways than doing that. We can use exit pop-ups, we can use um, on-page opt-ins. We can use um, lead magnets. There's different ways of getting people to, to give you their contact details or get in contact with you. So th the more that you do, you know, to, to, the more effort you put into that, it's called conversion optimization. It's converting, you know, cold visitors on your website into, you know, buying into your, or to, not buying into your business, but um, to engaging with you and wanting to take the conversation further. So you're basically getting them to pass their contact, contact details along to you, into your system. And that allows you to start a relationship and start a conversation with them so you can help to find out exactly what it is they're looking for and um, to, to basically to, to provide them with service. Now, conversion optimization is really important too. You know, there's, all of this is important. Um, these are, are big words, big terms, but they're, they're, it just means that getting more visitors to, to stay, to hang around, and, 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 and in, the more they hang around and interact with you, the more likely they are to do business with you. That's really what it boils down to. Um, conversion optimization gives you a big um, boost over your competition because you know I'm in this game you know, quite a long time and not many small businesses in Ireland will will get um, will take the the um, the lead or basically do what it needs do what needs to be done um, in terms of conversion optimization. Most people, most small businesses. Do what everybody else does. They look around them with their competitors and they see all they've got is a contact form, all I need is a contact form. Simple things you can do would be a tick the call button. So when someone's on, on mobile and they go to your, find your website, that a, a button would appear on the website that allows them to just to tap on it and that will start and place a phone call to, to you. So that's another way. A quick, basically what you're trying to do is make life as simple and easy and straightforward for visitors to your website. Make it as easy as possible to contact you. Um, the, the next piece that we can help you with is retargeting. So if someone comes to your, your website and they get distracted, if they're, you know, they're, they're interested in what you're doing, they're interested in what you have to offer, and they think that this might be what they need, then they get distracted. The child's crying, the dinner's ready, they have to go to work, whatever. Um, retargeting allows you to Put a place a um, place a code um, on their either on their their Google account or on their Facebook account, which um, basically allows you to put an advert back in front of them again. So retargeting is is sometimes called pixeling. So basically, we can put um, a piece of code on on their ID and their Facebook ID or their Google ID, and it allows you basically to follow them around the web and. The, the more that you appear in front of them, so it's, it's a bit like you know a, a small business can look like a very big business, um, in terms of, of basically being everywhere on the web. So, and, and the the big advantage of retargeting is that okay, it's a, a little bit complex to set up, but when it is set up, it it costs pennies to run, and you know there are really easy, quick wins to be got in terms of business if you're using retargeting. Um, what else can I do for you? Well, you know we've sort of hinted at part of it already, but about the follow up and the retargeting. Um, I can build your marketing funnel or your marketing system for you. So, um, my business is as a, as a marketing consultant. Um, I'm part of the duct tape marketing network, and our whole thing is that you know we make make it easier for businesses to become known, liked, and, and trusted by you know, would be customers, and then. To, to once they've bought into you or bought your your product or service, that they will um, get them help help them to re refer you and to do more repeat business. So okay, if you're a kitchen company 
um, you're unlikely to expect someone to come back and buy another kitchen off you unless they move home or their house burns down, God forbid. But you know they may they may be in the market next year for fitted bedroom units or fitted bathroom units or maybe a study or under stairs um, storage or you know um, a, a, you know so, I know it sounds grand but a, maybe a library or something like that. You don't know. You never know what what someone could be in the market for. But just because you've done business with them once. Um, most businesses drop the ball at that. They've done. They've, they've think that they've had the customer, and that's that's it. That's the end of the story. But um, you know, there there's always the the um, the a small proportion of, of your customers are gonna buy something related to what you do again. You know, in the next year, two years, three years, and if we um, put in place, help you put in place a, a marketing system. Um, one, we can help you to convert more of your inquiries and leads into customers. Two, we can help you to get more referred or word of mouth, one, word of mouth business. So um, by implementing a referral system, we can help to engineer more word of mouth referrals. That's really what that boils down to. Um, we can help by just, you know keeping in contact with your past customers, we can help you to get more repeat business. Um, Another thing that a lot of businesses sort of fall down on or, or, or maybe ignore because they think that it's too difficult and, and okay, there's a little bit of, of work in it, but an email or a CRM system. So, you know, the, the, your list of, of past inquiries and customers are really valuable to you because there's always more business. You can go back to any any bucket of, of past business leads or past business customers. Uh, you can always go back to, there's always more business in there, always. Unless you've you know dirtied your bib and, and with them and you know, but I'm assuming when you're watching this video that's not you. But the, you know, for any any business that, that does a decent job, there's always more business to be got from their past customers and, and inquiries. So we can help you put in a, a follow up system, um, which basically leads to higher conversions on 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 the on the front end. If you want to call it that one from new leads. So a, fo a, a simple follow up system. Um, will will lead to more business to be got from your inquiries, and then on what we call the back end, which is customers that have done business with you already, or leads that have already gone elsewhere. By following up with them continually, this email is is free once it's up. Um, you can always farm more business from that group from the, that list. Um, the last thing that I can offer you would be, um, it's not the last thing, but it's one of the big things that I can offer um, most businesses that they'll get a, a very quick gain from would be Facebook advertising. So, you know, in Ireland, not many small businesses are doing Facebook advertising. It is um, a little bit difficult for, for a business owner to set up because it's, it's quite technical in terms of targeting and, and the type of the selection of the type of ad and how to run the ads. At, you know at a low cost um, so we run Facebook ads for, for business and you know although we do charge a management fee for, for it the actual cost of the, running the ad we can we can run ads very very cheaply just because you know that's our, our business we know how to do it and the advantage to the, the opportunity for you is that your competitors aren't doing it um, you know, it's a small number of, of businesses in Ireland that even know that exists. Um, if you've gone through your Facebook feed on your phone, you, you know, if you scroll through the feed, it, it's unlikely you haven't seen um, an advert in there. And it's basically an untapped source of customers in Ireland. So that's one good reason to do it that, that not many others are. Why, why work with me? Why would you want to work with me? Um, well, do you want more customers? I can bring you more customers at a profit. So anything that that I do is is um, is going to make you more money. Um, one of the other points down here, I, I I only work with businesses that I know that I can help generate more profit. I'm not interested in working with people just for the sake of of, of burning their cash. Um, I want you as a customer, and um, because I can make you more money, and because I want um, the the basically the endorsement from you and the, and the referral from you and that's sort of an expectation set up in front that you know if I'm doing a good job from you that I'd like you to to refer me to someone else that I can help so I only work with businesses that um, that that can benefit from from my help and my experience um, so if you're already uh, maxed out with customers and you basically can't lift your head to, to breathe then you know you probably don't need any help at the minute not to say you wouldn't need it in the future but 
um, if you're if you're already too busy, then there's no point in making life any harder for yourself. If um, if you're interested in having a chat with me, I'm, I'm more than happy to speak with you, and we can investigate you know, what the opportunity may be. Um, if I think that at the end of the conversation that you know that I can't help you make more profit, more money, then I'm going to tell you. I'm going to be honest because you know I'm I'm busy enough serving customers that I can help. I don't need um, to to take someone's money for the sake of of just turning the wheels. Um, that's the last thing you need. You know, newspapers and the golden pages, the yellow pages, will already do that. They they already burn your money. You don't need me to do that as well. So I'm only interested in working with customers that I can genuinely help and genuinely make more money for. Um, you know, if if I can get you to page one very fast, sometimes depending on what your search terms are and depending on what your competition is, I can get you there within hours. Um, often within days, and, and you know, at the very worst case, it generally in, in a matter of weeks. So it's, it's dependent on the level of competition and depending on what your search terms are, what you want to be found for. You, know, you may want my help for strategic reasons. You may already be at page one. Um, you may want me to help you to push a competitor off page one. Um, we can do that by you know, increasing the number of rankings you'd have on page one if, if your site allows that. And if you're, you're, you know, you're, if the, the 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 level of competition and, and basically Google um, enables us to do that, there are various methods we can do that. But um, in the in the absence of, of being able to use your own site to do that, um, we can use what's called a parasite. Basically, we we'll, we'll basically build a, a clone of your site, um, different enough to, to be seen different. And we can rank that on page one also. So you could have multiple rankings on page one. And basically the effect of that is to push your, com your competitors off. Um, as I've said already, I only work with businesses that I can help um, make more profit. I don't work with your direct competitors. So that might be another reason. So, uh, you know, it's, it's just my own per personal ethics. I don't believe it's right that, that, that I could, I'd be working for you and working for one of your direct competitors. It just, you know, it, for, for me, I don't need the... Um, I don't need the, 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 the additional business in, in, a, in a, a competitive niche. There's an, it's a big enough world out there. But I, just from an ethics point of view, I don't think it's, it's right to take your money and your competitors' money to have you battle against one another. And, and the only one who gains would be me. So I, I only work um, with you if I'm not working with one of your competitors. Or maybe you want to work with me to stop your competitors get it because um, I often speak to... Um, multiple businesses in in a, in, a, in an area, um, in the hope that I'm gonna um, win one of them as a customer. So you know, if if it's not you, then it it may be your competitor. Um, I prefer to work with with businesses on a on a minimum three month term. Simple reason is you know it's for all that I can get you some immediate gains on on page one and in, in you know hours, days, or weeks. Um, for all your search terms, you know it's. Undoubted that you're gonna if you're if you're in a competitive nation you want my help there will be um, certain terms that are more difficult to rank than others so we want to get quick gains on the ones that are easy to rank and you know it does take time Google works at its own pace so you know none of us can control Google Google are their own being it's it's a it's a system in itself so what we have to do is is basically um, work your business your website and your your um, information into the machine in such a way that it, it comes up in, in ranks. So I, I prefer to work with businesses on a, on a minimum of three month term so that we can get genuine results rather than you know, getting small gains and dropping the ball after a month. It doesn't make a lot of sense to do that because at the end of the day, you know, you're you're investing money in your marketing. It's not it's not this is not like a, a newspaper ad or um, a, a golden pages um, ad. You know, people spend thousands of euros and thousands of pounds on, on golden pages and yellow pages ads every year. And if you stop doing that, you're gone. You know, back in the, in the heyday, when when people used the phone books to look for service providers, look for product providers, um, you know, that was the only source of of uh, of information, the only source of search. And if you decided at the end of a year that you weren't going to repeat your advert, then any any um, gains that you made in the previous year in terms of being found by customers um, you lost the following year if you weren't there and the same with placing an advert in the newspaper you know if you're if you think you've got brand awareness and you're getting calls out of the newspaper 
the minute you stop doing that, all those phone calls drop. So the same is the case really um, with any gains you make, you know, in on Google up to get you on page one. You really want to bolster them to make sure they stay there for the long term. So that's you know, for all that I get you fast gains quickly. That's my my, my objective is I want you to see results from my help within two weeks or less and that's my guarantee that i will give you results within two weeks or less but you have to back up that work it's like underpinning it or putting the foundation underneath it to keep it there because you don't want it to drop off if you only do something for a few weeks the chances are it's gonna gonna fitter away quite quickly afterwards so you want to, to basically to, to under underpin and, and and put a foundation underneath those those early gains and 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 basically um to keep working on your on your bigger your larger targeted um, keywords finally here's my contact details so um i said on the last slide that my um all my work is is guaranteed so um you know i don't i don't uh, take customers on that i can't help that's really what it boils down to and um sorry i'm going through the slides here again I, I only work with people that I can help, and my guarantee is that I, I will get you, um, you know, profitable results. You know, we get you to page one in two weeks or less, and um, you should see start to see an increase in, in phone calls and or inquiries in, in two weeks or less. And um, you know, I can't guarantee that when those when those inquiries come through, you, you, you know, that's basically passing the button to you. When the when the phone rings, it's up to you to convert those people to customers. If you you know, if you want me to help you implement the marketing system, then we can certainly um, convert more of those customers to to to, um, to or more of those inquiries to paying customers. Um, but you know, if the sales part, you know, if you don't engage me on, on helping you with with the marketing system, if it's all of it's only SEO or it's only upfront lead generation, then after the lead becomes you know to the business, it's all on you to generate the business. So you know um, I, i'm ha happy to work with you i'm happy to talk to you about what types of, of business business results we can get um I, i'm only interested in helping you make more profit i'm not going to be a burden um i'm sure you don't want a burden there's plenty of other guys out there who will take your money without producing any results um month after month anyway that's me my contact details are um here's my, my email address and the phone, the office phone number is 485-1177 and the website is fmbireland.com. Anyway, that's it. That's me, Adrian McGivern. I um, hope this has been some sort of help to you and I welcome your comments, queries or questions and feel free to get in touch. Thank you very much.